Yes, guys. So this is our second session, batch 13. So, so we have joined yesterday. Okay. So we have joined yesterday and today. I welcome all you people to my uh, 13th batch. Okay. So you can go through the uh, first video. So I'm sharing here. You can go through that first video. Okay. One second, please. Let me share. So whoever missed, please go through that video. Okay. So this is our video on the first day. Yeah. Who you have missed last session, you can go through this. I'm bringing you here. Yes, you can go through this. Okay. Fine, guys. So I unmuted you, everyone. So if you have any questions, if you have any questions, okay, you can. You can ask me in the chat. You can type in the chat. Otherwise, at last, we'll see. Okay. So, one second. You people are able to hear me, right? Yes, guys. Yes. You able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So, I muted you, everyone. Yes. Okay. So, if you have any questions, please ask in the chat. Okay. So because there are more people, if I if I unmute you people, okay, then it will be disturbance to uh, everyone. So I'm unmuted all, I unmuted everyone, okay. So fine, guys. So we'll see today. So yeah, we are seeing, we are learning here what? We are all learning here Informatica Power Center. So we are learning Informatica, first of all. In Informatica, there are many tools. In Informatica, there are many tools. Okay. So first of all, what is this Informatica? Okay. What is there in it? We'll see. Okay. So Informatica is just a tool like Microsoft Word. Okay. Like Microsoft Word. Okay. And Microsoft Excel. Like that. It's also a tool. Drag and drop tool. Okay. You don't need to write any coding. That means like you don't need to, uh, you need to know C, C++, Java. These are all not required. Okay. Informatica is, Informatica is, okay, easiest than any other. Informatica is easiest than any other tool, okay? One second, please. Let me guys. Yeah. So Informatica also an easier, an easiest tool, okay? So you can easily learn. As I said, if I, if I have a ninth standard student, I can make him learn Informatica. So you no need to worry. Okay. So you no need to worry. So I will tell. Yeah, I'll tell everything. Okay. So I will share. I'll share everything which is shared today. Okay. So fine. So Informatica is a tool. It's a drag and drop tool. You can do by mouse. Okay. You can do by mouse Informatica. Okay. So what is the use of Informatica? What is that? We'll see all these things in some time. Okay. So Informatica is a tool which is used for ETL. It's an ETL tool. Informatica current version is 10.5.0, but in office we are using 10.2.0. There are different versions like Informatica 1, 2, 3. So almost uh, from first session it has started. Now it is in first version it is started. Now it is in 10th version. Okay, we are all using Informatica 10.2.0, okay. Now, what is Informatica? Okay. Informatica is the ETL tool. Okay. What is ETL? What is ETL? We'll see in some time. What is ETL? We'll see in some time. Okay. So ETL means extract, transform, and load. Okay. That means get, get the data from somewhere and modify the data and load the and send the data. That is what ETL means. Okay. So I will discuss what is ETL and all later. We'll see first what is Informatica. We'll see first what is Informatica. Okay. And where we will use Informatica. So what exactly we will do by using Informatica. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. That is what we see now. Okay. Now, what we'll do. Okay. So as I said, Informatica is an ETL tool. Okay. That is, it's also a software tool. This ETL tool is used in almost all companies, all big companies, few small companies also use it. 
okay so it's it's on data it's on data what is data what are those we'll see later okay so now informatica is a data warehousing tool okay so first what is informatica okay what is etl we'll see all those things now okay actually informatica is also a software company it's also a product based company which is located in us it is in it is in it is in hyderabad it is in bangalore in different locations okay informatica is having several tools now before going to informatica why we need to learn informatica okay now in our real time world okay everything is revolving into data okay so we are all seeing in real time in your real life data what is data data means anything anything you can store okay that means suppose if you go to medical shop okay they will they will once you give the once you order all those things all the medicals okay they will give a bill okay and whatever the medicine you are taking okay they are entering in their system whatever they entering in the system that is called data okay so now okay so everywhere so if you go to if you go to hospital hospital data if i if you go to college college data if you go to data means it's kind of information i can say information okay so information of several things okay information of several things so college college data movies data insurance data banking data okay groceries data these are all called this is called data okay now whatever they enter into their laptop or desktop that is called data simple okay that is called data now where this data will store where this data will store okay the question is they are entering in the system they are entering in the system where it will store where the data will store where the data will store data will store in database data will store in database okay so whatever they are entering in the system whatever they are they are pressing on the keyboard that is all of data if you go to big bazaar it is a grocery data if you go to icic bank it is a banking data if you go to any insurance company that is called insurance data if you go to any if you go to any other okay movie that is called movies data nowadays everybody will be if you go to restaurant it be restaurant data restaurant data everybody will be having a desktop if you go to any shop any business okay they will be having a desktop or a laptop and they will be entering your details that means whatever you are purchasing and they are printing out once they print it will save in back end okay in their system it will save the data will save the data will save under database how the data will save data will save under database okay so database okay data can be stored in two forms data can be stored in data can be stored in two forms what are those two forms data can be stored in two forms what are those two forms one is database another one is file a data can be stored in a database or a database or a data can be stored in a file if i am going fast please text me that go slow i can go slow i hope i hope you are able to understand what i am saying correct you are able to understand what i am saying am i going fast no sir no sir you are able no, to sir. Understand? no sir no sir no sir no sir okay no sir yeah fine so if i go fast so let me know you please text me okay so just i muted everyone so you whatever your questions you you text me i will answer okay so now you know or you know what is data data can be stored in two forms one is database or a file first we will discuss about database first we will discuss about database what is database first we will discuss about database please don't draw anything on the screen okay one second please let me disable give me a second let me disable yeah okay yeah fine if you have any questions you can ask in the chat okay so don't no need to take any no need to take any notes i will send this notepad to you i will send this ppt to you okay everything i will send you no need to do anything just listen and understand carefully that's it as i told again i am saying okay so in the last session again again i said today session also i am saying again 
okay informatica means there should be three things in inform if you want if you want to learn informatica you need to do three things one is listen carefully number one listen if you listen carefully 50% of the problems will solve if you don't listen carefully nobody can help okay listen carefully number two okay understand whatever i am saying number three practice whatever i say practice whatever i say okay so listen carefully understand and practice okay so practice 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 fourth point is practice fifth point also practice sixth point also practice okay so listen carefully understand practice okay so this is how the pins you take a always join session in desktop or laptop don't join in mobile and also take a calm room don't sit in your hall or living room or wherever there is so much of noise okay and also okay and also don't don't talk in talk with phone while you are while you are listening the class okay while you are listening the class okay don't talk with anyone okay to put your mobile in silent and just listen okay that's how you should be okay now so okay so what is it so data is stored in the form of database or a file now okay what is a database database is a collection of data collection of data in the form of in the form of tables database contains tables okay database is a collection of data in the form of tables what is a table what is a table table is collection of data in the form of in the form of rows and columns rows and columns collection of data in the form of rows and columns that is called that is called a database okay table table database is a collection of tables okay table is collection of data in the form of rows and columns okay collection of data in the form of rows and columns rows and columns means okay like this it looks like how the rows and columns look like like this okay like this it will look like rows and columns so the horizontal lines the horizontal lines is called okay if i show you like this the horizontal line is called a row the vertical line is called a column the vertical line is called a column i will tell what is the schema i will tell please wait okay so now this is called a column this is called a row the horizontal column is called row or record this is called row or record okay row or record the vertical columns are called the vertical columns are called columns these are called columns or fields or attributes or attributes so these things are called columns fields or attributes and this horizontal uh, things are called rows so how many how many rows we have we have how many rows we have we have one second we have one second please we have here it is showing eight but the first row is called column header the first show is first line is called column header or a column name column header or a column name okay so the what are the rows how many rows are there there are almost seven rows so there are seven rows in the table there are seven rows in the table okay there are seven rows in this table and 1 2 3 4 5 6 columns in the there are seven rows or records and six columns in this table okay this is called table data okay this is called this is called column this is called row okay first 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 row is called a column names or column header okay so there are total seven rows in our table this is called table okay so now this database okay database is a collection of rows and columns database is a database is a collection of tables table is collection of rows and columns the pins in database multiple tables will be there suppose if you go to college maybe student table suppose college is a college okay college data college data if you take college college data so they are having a database college database in the college database what they have they have they have a student table 
okay they have a college table okay they have a lecturer's table okay student table contains all the student information college table contains all the college information lecturer table contains all the lecturer information okay so like that our faculty okay faculty okay so faculty information okay maintenance maintenance table okay maintenance means so maybe rent of the or whatever the cost of the building all those things okay so these are different different tables exist in different different database suppose if you go to banking database if you go to any bank in bank what are the tables we will be having okay customer table <clears throat> customer table or a credit card table customer table credit card table all those things will be there okay one second please one second please yeah so customer database credit card database okay credit sorry customer table these are our tables okay student table college table okay faculty table maintenance table okay in banking database we have customer table credit card table or debit card table okay debit card table okay and loans table okay like this different different tables i am just giving an example like this different different tables will exist in different different database so a table is a collection of rows and columns a table is a collection of rows and columns okay you are saying table is a collection of rows and columns and we have different different database database contains database contains tables tables contains rows and columns okay so database contains tables tables contains rows and columns okay fine now where these data will store in the system where this database is stored in the system in which for the means where it will store okay so to store the data or tables to store the tables to store the tables okay we should have a database technology okay we have database technologies database technologies okay the means if you see if i want to save this notepad windows is required windows is required okay so windows is required same way to store this data or database where it will store we have different different database technologies available in market what are those oracle sql server microsoft sql server mysql okay i can say mysql okay and teradata okay are different different there are many data there are can you give anybody example of databases please can you write any examples of databases okay so there is oracle sql server teradata okay there are many database tables there are many database technologies okay sybase yes okay sybase okay mongodb yeah so mongodb then postgresql okay db2 yes db2 greenplum yeah db2 greenplum okay so these are all called different different databases what it will do what these databases will do they will give some space in the system to store these tables to store these tables they will give some space in the system some space in the server okay so by using any one of these database technology the databases or the tables will store tables will store okay so that is about database technologies the majorly used database nowadays on very old thing from 25 30 years onwards we are using oracle as a database okay in your real time in my project still i am using oracle as a database in my project still i am using oracle as a database so if you learn oracle correctly then these things will be easy to you okay because almost all queries we will use same queries but little little changes little little little, little changes will be there if you are very good at oracle you can work on sql server you can work on micro mysql you can work on teradata you can work on sybase also okay so that's how it will be okay so in in our training we will learn oracle in our training what and all we will learn in our training oracle sql basics okay sql basics we will learn we will learn informatica basics to advanced concepts basics to advanced concepts we will learn unix we will learn unix
these are the things these are the things we will we will learn in our training okay and i'll give the resume intro questions everything i'll give you no need to worry okay okay so what you need to do what is that now so we should have a database server or a database tech database technology to store these tables okay while you are installing informatica you could have installed oracle first what we have installed you could have installed in your system oracle okay then you could have installed oracle sql developer oracle sql developer as one of this first you will install oracle then you will install sql developer then you will install sql developer okay so so now suppose this oracle can be installed suppose in real time suppose you if you go to the bank if you go to the bank i see is a bank you go you get to you went to i see is a bank okay there what you will do suppose you go to you go to the cashier and you will give 10000 rupees to deposit in our account what cashier will do cashier will open a form in the system and he will enter your customer id whatever you have given in the slip if when you when you enter is your customer id all your details will be displayed there in the credit text box he will write 10000 and he will click on save when he click on save in back end it will suppose if they are using oracle database if they are using in icic bank think that they are using oracle database in icic bank you think that they are using oracle database okay so what they will do okay oracle database if they are using when you give 10000 okay when you click on save it will go on save under oracle database that is oracle oracle database that may be present in their system present in their system okay their the cashier system in the cashier system the oracle may be installed okay or there will be a server there will be a server for whole icic bank there will be a oracle server okay oracle server installed in some some location like delhi or mumbai whatever in a hub from there by using sql developer we can access it okay so if you go to big bazaar if you go to icic bank if you go to anywhere if they are entering your details means when they click on save or print it will go and save in the database server what is that database server that database server will be installed in their system or any other way other way any other other system but they will access that system okay so this is called oracle so to store the tables to store the tables we should have at least one database server okay so maybe in our in our training we will use database server in real time in my project still i am still we are using oracle database server so be you always should be clear about oracle first okay you should be clear is my voice is breaking guys is my voice is breaking no right okay if you, if my voice is breaking that's that is your problem it's not my problem please okay just give me a second yeah okay yes so <clears throat> yeah so the pins now i said what suppose if i if i install oracle server in my system or server so suppose i am the suppose you went to you went to icic bank you given 10000 rupees okay you, you given 10000 rupees to the cashier when he enter the details it will save under database in the format of table in the format of table like this it will so like this cash id cash name location city state country okay debit or credit it will be it will be like this credit okay thousand ten thousand rupees like this it will store in the database it will store in the database okay that is called data or database okay now where this etl has come from where this informatica has come from what is the use of this informatica or what is the use of etl okay see suppose i'll show, i'll give an example okay to you okay i will give an example to you okay we have a big bazaar we have big bazaar big bazaar is a is a grocery is it's a it's a it's a retail it's a retail business big bazaar is a retail business big bazaar is a retail business okay understand the basics first then you can understand the advanced things very easily 
big bazaar is a retail business okay in a business okay suppose in big bazaar there is a branch in bangalore in bangalore there is a branch called indranagar indranagar okay there is a branch called indranagar okay now in indranagar branch okay first of all in business what they will do they will see profit or loss whether i got what are the sales today what did i get the profit today or did i get the loss today they will check how they will check okay suppose this is indranagar branch one branch in suppose in bangalore one branch there will take one branch there are many branches in bangalore but take one branch okay in this big bazaar okay suppose 9 o'clock if it is open at 10 o'clock to 9:30 Maybe three hundred people entered into Big Bazaar. Three hundred people entered into Big Bazaar. What they will do? They will purchase the groceries and they will pay to the cashier. What cashier will do? Cashier will enter in the system. Once he enter and he, once he click on print, he will give the print to you. Same way, it will go and save in the suppose Oracle database in in the different different tables. It is saved. Okay. At nine thirty. At nine thirty. What these people will do? they will generate the report they will generate the report what kind of report they will generate sales report so is my voice is okay guys is my voice is okay is it clear any disturbances please okay yeah so ultimately they want sales report means what how many people suppose these 300 people made 300 transaction okay and these transactions value is 10 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees money they got it either in the form of cash or in the form of or in the form of upi or in the form of credit card whatever they got 10 lakh rupees okay fine also they will see the expenses for one day suppose this is first of january on first of january 2022 i got the sales 10 lakh rupees from morning to evening 10 lakh rupees sales i got it then they will see expenses also expenses of big bazaar what are the expenses of big bazaar rent of the building okay salaries per day for employees and the goods the goods which are you are they will be purchasing right suppose you are taking a soap with in big bazaar the soap has came from the manufacturer what is the price of that goods maintenance all these things okay maintenance all these things are expenses suppose expenses are 7 lakh on that day expenses are 7 lakh now the profit is sales minus expense profit is sales minus expense if the sales minus expense is a positive value that is called profit suppose sales is 7 lakh expense is 10 lakh then loss okay now ultimately what they will do big bazaar is a business ultimately what they wanted they wanted profit or loss how they will calculate they will generate the reports what report sales report expenses report profit report loss report this is just one branch indranagar branch profit is 3 lakh now like in 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 bangalore there are 10 branches there are 10 big bazaar branches they wanted branch wise they wanted branch wise reports what they wanted branch wise reports like indranagar what is the sales report profit report loss report in jayanagar jp nagar okay in mg road okay in indranagar like that they wanted branch wise reports okay like in bangalore we have different cities in bangalore big bazaar is there chennai big bazaar is there mumbai big bazaar is there hyderabad big bazaar is there okay pune big bazaar is there now they wanted state wide they wanted state wide report state wide report the pins first what what is the sales for what is the sales in bangalore what is sales in indranagar branch indranagar branch okay like this they will get the all the sales of all the branches in bank in the in the in the bangalore so they want a total bangalore total bangalore okay total bangalore <clears throat> what is the sales report what is the sales report total bangalore okay like that total karnataka maybe or south zone okay so south zone and they want it state wide report and zonal wise report zonal wise report they want and also they want country wide report country wide report so in in total india there are 
40 big bazaar branches or 50 big bazaar branches in these 50 big bazaar branches consolidate all the sales profit so total profit for a day on 1st of january i got 2 crore profit or 1 crore profit or 50 lakh profit or 2 crore profit i got it throughout india throughout india i got who who will see this big bazaar ceo or big bazaar okay president or vice president whoever invested in the big bazaar they will see whoever start the business okay they will see okay is my voice is clear please is my voice is clear guys please text me yes okay fine so so that is how it will be so they will generate the reports what reports bangalore wise okay chan first first branch wise then next city wise branch wise then city wise report city wide report city wide report then state wide report then zonal wise report then country wide report so that they will understand okay this this is what today like that they want daily reports they want daily reports they want weekly reports they want monthly reports they want quarterly reports okay and they want yearly reports okay so today is prof today's profit is 2 crore in india what is the yearly profit for me throughout india in all big bazaar branches last financial year i got i got to i got 250 crore profit 250 crore profit i got so this is what it will be doing in any business in any business it will do now okay business is okay now okay based on this reports they will take the better business decisions what is the use of these things to make the better business decision business decision to make the better business decision okay they will generate the report See, suppose Indra Nagar, every month I am getting 10 lakh loss. Every month I am getting 10 lakh loss. The loss report in throughout in India, Indra Nagar branch is getting 10 lakh loss every month. Then what they will do? They will take a decision. They will take a <clears throat> decision. What kind of decision they will take? One second, please. Yeah. So, what kind of decision they will take? That means they will take a better business decision. They, I want to continue in the Nagar branch, or I don't want to disconnect, disconnect or close the in the Nagar branch and put it in somewhere. So now, who will generate these reports? Who will? generate these reports these kind of reports who will generate who will generate the reports okay as i told okay suppose in a, in cashier is there there is a cashier in indranagar branch what he will do he will take the money from customers and he will enter all the groceries and he will click on print when he click on print it will go on save under table that kind of a table or a database is called oltp online transaction processing Daily transactions will be stored under OLTP tables. Daily transactions will be stored under OLTP tables. Okay. So, whatever the, if you go to ICIC bank, the cashier will be there. Cashier will take the cash from you and he will enter in the system. That data, whatever he entered in the system, that data will go and save under a table. That kind of a table is called OLTP table. The transactions, daily things, day-to-day -day transactions will be stored under a table called OLTP table. That is called a OLTP table, online transactional processing. Okay, online transaction processing. The transaction details are will be there in the OLTP tables. Okay, now, now we are all ETL developers. Who are we? ETL developers or Informatica developers. ETL or Informatica developers. What we will do is, what we will do, this is called raw data. Whatever the data, whatever the transactional data, whatever the transactional day-to-day -day transactional data, whatever the transactional 
okay one second please <clears throat> whatever the transactional data they will store okay that is called a raw data this is called raw data what we will do okay this raw data will be stored under oltp table so what we will do we will extract the we will extract extract e means what is that etl e t l extract the data from oltp table extract the data okay extract the data from oltp table transform it transform means modify the data and load load to the destination tables load to the load to the target tables or olap tables olap tables so there are two types of tables there are two types of database that means two types of tables are there oltp tables olap tables oltp means online transaction processing olap means online analytical processing oltp means online transaction processing olap means online analytical processing so whoever the cashiers entering the data that is called raw data or the transactional data what we will do we will extract extract means what read the data or take the data take the data extract or read or take the data from oltp table this oltp table also called a source table what is it called source table and modify the modify the data in it based on the business requirement my business wanted total sales my business wanted my business wanted uh, total profit like that we will transform the data and we will load it to olap tables olap tables means online analytical processing data we already analyzed it we extracted transformed and loaded now these tables are called oltp tables are called oltp tables are called source tables olap tables are called target tables okay so these olap tables are ready to generate the reports so the data is there i got the raw data i have took the data i have took the data and i transformed based on my business requirement and i have loaded to my I loaded to target table now from target table reporting people will generate the reports reporting people will generate the reports this is called etl process we will extract the data from oltp tables we extract means read or take the data from oltp table and transform it based on the business rules or business requirements and load it to oltp load or load means load or write or put load or write the data or put the data to the olap tables this kind of olap tables are called targets so here this is just a transactional data this is analytical data this is ready for analysis analysis already completed it is ready for it is ready for generating the reports so what we will do we will do just source to target only this is e this is t this is it is t this is l extract transform and load extract extract the data from any database any table any file okay that should be a oltp table or a source table transform it or modify it and load it to target table this is our work if you go to a office you need to do you need to do you need to do this thing what you need to do etl by using informatica tool etl by using informatica tool you will do once you loaded the data to target reporting pe people will be there reporting people will be there like they are working on power bi they are working on tableau or cognos or micro strategy okay or obi they will generate the reports so at 9:30 big bazar ceo big bazar ceo wants the report daily reports monthly daily reports on all branches on each branch to his mobile he will not be having any time to go and see go and see who are doing what what he wanted just i want profit or loss that's it what is the sales today what is the profit i got or what is the loss i got that's what i wanted okay so we will do this kind of reports to them 
what they will do big bazaar suppose i accenture is a accenture is a software company big bazaar will give the project to accenture that i need these kind of business reports i need branch wise reports i need city wise i need zonal wise country wise daily wise monthly wise weekly wise quarterly wise and yearly wise this i wanted based on my huge data so suppose if i see ic is a bank in bangalore only there are 50 branches will be there like that in country there may be 10000 branches will be there in each branch if it is at least 100 transactions that means 1 lakh to 10 lakh transactions will be there 10 lakh records will be there on the daily basis so we will hand we will take the data and we will modify the data extract the data transform the data and load the data to the target table on top of that target table reporting people will generate the reports this is called etl process this is called so why etl tools are popular because everywhere data is there we need to handle the data everything is a business now if you go to icic bank it's a business if you go to any nowadays temples are also a business if you go to a temple that is also a business temples also if you go to ishkan it's a pure if you go to ishkan temple it's a it's a pure corporate corporate business okay everything is a business all the businesses will accept the customers and they want to maintain the data of the customers and also they want to see the reports they want to see the reports to to make the to grow their business to take the business decisions to take the business decisions they will use etl tools they will use etl tools okay yeah okay one second please that is why why etl tool is popular simply it is not popular no simply no nothing is popular why etl tool is popular is businesses are growing and and customers are growing data also growing so that they wanted to handle the data they wanted to generate the reports they wanted to generate the reports that's why they will handle all this you need to handle all these things that's why etl is this much so now by using informatica by using informatica okay we will do etl we will do etl one second please Give me a second, guys. yeah so by using informatica so by using informatica we will implement this etl we will implement etl we will implement etl okay so and also okay so this this olap also called data warehouse olap this olap tables will be present in data warehouse what is this data warehouse and all we'll see later okay now did you understand why why we need to use etl did you understand clearly please did you understand please we cannot process the oltp data because we need to modify many things in between we need to based on the business based on the business decisions based on the business decisions okay so in in S, you are saying in sql we can change but suppose i have two source tables suppose what is what is told we need to what ultimately we need to do what ultimately we need to do see please i'll show you here okay see yeah so see please okay suppose this is my source this is my source this is my source okay this may be from this this is one table this is table one this may be from oracle database this may be from oracle database this may be from sql server database 
SQL Server database. This may be from, this is a file. Now what we can do by using Informatica, we will bring all these tables into one place. All these tables into one place, okay? And then we will load into target. We will load into targets, okay? This cannot be possible by using just Oracle, okay? This is called, this is OLTP. What are these OL, OLTP tables? These are called OLTP tables. OLTP tables. Or these are called source tables. Okay, OLTP tables are source tables. Okay, and we will extract the data. Extract. In Informatica, what we will do? We will transform the data. By using Informatica, we will transform the data. Okay, and these are these are also again tables or files. Okay, these are called OLTP tables or target tables or data warehousing tables or data warehousing tables and we we'll load it to suppose there are two tables okay we'll bring everything to informatica okay and we we'll load it to okay so okay in the table of OLTP, whatever we get the source data that is called OLTP. okay we will load it to different tables to target so from any database we will get the data into this this is informatica actually this is informatica we will bring everything to informatica and we will load to target tables this is Informatica, it is an ETL tool. Informatica is a ETL tool. Informatica is an ETL tool. Okay. I will tell what is the difference between SQL and SQL Server. We'll see later. Now, did you understand what is ETL, please? Why we will use ETL? Did you understand what is ETL? Everybody, guys, understood clearly. non ATP people, please. Okay. Extract, transform, and load from these tables. They will generate the from these tables, what they will do? They will generate the reports. They will generate who? Reporting people will. They will generate the reports. Reporting people's people will generate the reports. Okay. That is called ETL. That is called ETL process. Okay. Now, by using Informatica, we will, by using Informatica, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, what is the, so by using Informatica, why we need to modify the data means? Yeah, maybe I have, suppose I have 10 branches. I have 10 branches. I want to take all into one place and I wanted to club them and I wanted to load, I wanted to give the report. No, that is also called, that is also called modification, modify the data. There are n number of, we need to suppose some, we need to some, I need to take some of salaries of all employees in my all branches. Okay, so there are 10 tables are there. From there, I will take all the salaries and I will give the consolidated salary like that. There are many modifications in between. So that modifications we will do in by using a ETL tool. Okay. So why you need to modify the data to generate the reports? They want the business reports. If you want a business report, you need to modify the data. Okay. So modify the base run. Your client will tell what to modify the data. Based on that, you need to modify the data and we need to generate the reports. And we need to generate the report. I just told. Okay. What is the real-time example I told? A big buzzer example I told. Okay, you should be, listen carefully, please. That's what I'm saying. If you don't listen, you will not understand. Okay, I already told what is the real-time example of a business, big buzzer business, I already told, please. Okay, yeah, that is called this one. Okay, now, okay. Now, we'll discuss about Informatica. Now, did you understand ETL, please, everyone? Did you understand ETL? OLTP also called it. All tables are, are stored in database. Tables all stored in database. Every table will store under a database. Okay. Every table will be having a database. Okay. So now we'll go to what are the different types of ETL tools we have. So now ETL is a concept. By using ETL, so ETL is a concept. By using Informatica, we will implement ETL. We will implement ETL by using Informatica, we will implement ETL. Okay. Now, okay. So now what is Informatica? Informatica is also a software company. Okay. So before that ETL tools, like Informatica, so as I told, ETL is a concept. Like I told, what I told, ETL is a concept. Okay. So second, ETL is a concept. Okay. By, so by using an ETL tool called Informatica, ETL by using a tool called Informatica will implement ETL same way. So I'm giving an example. Android is an operating system. Android is an operating system. Android can be used in Samsung mobile. 
Android can be used in OnePlus mobile. Okay, Android can be used in MI mobile or Sony mobile. Okay, we are using Android, Android in different different forms. Okay, same way, ETL is a concept. We can implement ETL by using Informatica. It's a tool, Informatica tool, or a talent tool. Talent also ETL tool, or or Snow or uh, what else? We what are the ETL tools are there? Well, we have data stage. We have data stage. That's also an ETL tool. Okay, data stage. Nowadays, Snowflake. Snowflake also is an ETL tool. Okay, SSIS. SSIS also an ETL tool. Abinitio. Okay, Abinitio. These are all different ETL tools. So, like different different small small changes will be there. Same here also. Different different tools, but ultimately work is same based on your client requirement. Based on your client comfortable, okay, they will use either Informatica or a talent or a data stage, okay. So anything they can use, okay. So same way, like we are using Samsung, okay, like we are using Samsung, we are using Android in all mobiles. We will use ETL in all ETL tools. So one is enough. Any one is any one. If you are using one phone, you can speak in the phone. If you are using, if you are, if you are having a Samsung phone, whatever you can do in OnePlus, you can do in Samsung also. Not require two phones to do the same job. I don't require two phones. Same way to process it. So any one, if you learn, that is more than enough. But Informatica is a older tool and it's a powerful tool. Till now, it is uh, it is not lower, lost its importance. It is having huge importance till now also. That's why we are learning ETL Informatica. We are learning ETL Informatica. Okay, these are the different ETL tools in market, like different mobiles in market. These are the different ETL tools in market. Informatica, ODI, Talent, Pentaho, SAP BO, Business Objects, SSIS, Microsoft SQL, Server Integration Services, IBM Data Stage, Splint, Abinitio, like that we have different, different ETL tools. Different, different ETL tools we have. Okay, now, now we will learn about Informatica. Informatica is a software company are a product based company which is located in us america okay so and also the branches are there in india also the branches are there in india also okay so now so informatica is having different tools now informatica is having informatica power center which we are learning informatica is having informatica cloud it is having informatica ilm it is having big data management it is MDM and we have TDM, we have data quality. There are many Informatica tools. These are all implemented by Informatica company. Now we are learning the first thing they implemented is Informatica Power Center. Okay. When I was working in HCL 11 years back, from 2011, I started working. From 2011, I started working on Informatica. On 2011 itself, I know the people who are having 10 years experience in Informatica. That means almost from 2025 years, Informatica is exist and it did not lost its importance. It is like a fresh tool. It is competing with other tools and it is growing up. Okay, that's why these many jobs are there for Informatica. To learn any other tools, Informatica Power Center is basics. If you want to learn Informatica Cloud, you should learn Informatica Power Center, which we are learning now. If you want to learn Informatica ILM, we need to learn Informatica Power Center. TDM, MDM, data quality, or big data management, everything, are related to power center. If you know Informatica power center, all other two Informatica tools will be easy. Okay, that is about Informatica tool. Next, as I told you, ETL. Did you see the ETL? ETL process, extract. Extract the data from source, transform the data and load it to target or destination or data warehouse. See, extract the data from anything, extract the data from, extract the data from various sources, Okay, our various 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 source databases and transform it. Transform means cleaning the data, delete the data, delete the duplications, converting the data, summarization of the data, aggregation of the data, integration of the data, and load it to the data warehouse and generate the reports based on that. This is called ETL process. This is called ETL process. Are you clear, please? What is ETL process? What is Informatica? We are learning Informatica Power Center now. Okay, we are learning Informatica Power Center. As of now, Power Center is more than enough. I will give some cloud basics also. Okay, so if you learn Informatica Power Center, Unix, Oracle, so you can easily get a job. 
okay so you no need to think about anything just just think about doing hard work just think about doing hard work okay so now when you go to a software company why see please in when you go to the software company okay who and all if you go to a project if you go to a project who and all will be there in the project who and all will be there in the project is normally when you go to any project in any company suppose you joined as a so we are all what we are all etl developers you are learning a etl development course here we are all etl developers or informatica developers informatica developers we are all etl developers or informatica developers okay so actually we are there is a technology called business intelligence business intelligence business intelligence having two type business intelligence having actually data, there are three types data warehousing data mining okay there are so many things data warehousing data mining data visualization data mining data visualization there are many things are there okay so all those things not required in the business the business intelligence we are all data warehouse developer data warehouse developer under data warehouse we will be having etl tools and we will be having we will be having reporting tools and we will be having reporting tools so what how can i explain is this is business intelligence this is business intelligence okay it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a just a technology name some concept name bi business intelligence business intelligence also called bi okay bi also called bi this is bi under bi we have three things under bi we have three things number 1 1 1 two three things what are those one is data warehouse data warehouse and another one is data mining and another one is another one is data visualization data visualization there are something like this under data warehouse so these are business intelligence okay okay now under data warehouse again we have two things okay that is called what again we have two things okay what are those is one is etl and another one is report etl and report we have etl etl tools and reporting tools and reporting tools and reporting tools okay this is how a business so we are all business intelligence developers are data warehousing developers or etl developers or informatica developers or informatica developers what we do in the data mining not required we are not learning data mining here okay we are learning what is data warehousing here so we learn about data warehousing now okay now okay so we are all what etl developers or informatica developers or data warehousing developers if you go to any project there will be one project manager will be there one team lead will be there suppose and four to five there are five etl developers or based on the project based on the project size okay there will be four or five etl developers two etl testers will be there two people will be reporting people will be there report generation people and one or two one one people will be there database administrator or data architect so that is why always etl developers will be having more options more growth more openings in a project always more etl developers will be there more, less reporting developers less etl tester or less team leads less project managers will be there always developers will be or uh, developers are more people that's why these many openings for developers okay so this is about what is what is etl what is ot oltp what is olap what is okay what is olap and then what is uh, this one what is informatica under informatica what are different etl tools and under etl tools we have informatica we are learning under informatica we have different informatica tools but we are learning a basic tool called informatica power center informatica power center and to learn any other tool called cloud or whatever mdm we require informatica power center without power center it is it is difficult to learn it is difficult to learn okay yes please did you understand every everybody please did you understand everybody please 
so nanati guys so i hope my my session is very clear to you okay i hope you people are understanding my sessions okay so because why i am not giving the access to mute unmute is because it's a disturbance to everyone okay because we have more people see now actually almost 350 people are there okay almost 400 people are there in the morning batch evening batch 4 450 people are there in the morning batch and in evening batch we have only 200 people are there okay we have two people 200 people are there if i unmute you then everybody will speak at a time and nobody can understand anything okay that's why i am not un- i am not unmuting whatever the questions you have you can write in the chat i will immediately reply so that it will be a live session for you okay so i hope you everybody understood the concept give me one second give me one second i'll come back please be unmute give me one second please Yes, yes. Okay. It is required to re- it is required to know reporting tools. Not required. If you know already a reporting tool, it's well and well and good. Not required to learn. It not not required to learn ETL. What is that reporting tools? Okay. So ETL it's an extract, transform, and load. Extract the data. Read the data. Read the data from the source or a source database, and modify it and load it to target. extract the data from oltp transform it and load it to target that is called etl that is called etl okay where we will use oltp that is also a database like oracle in 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 the oltp also we are using a database oltp also we are using a database only and the database the tables will store that tables are called we will call it as oltp tables or target tables that's it okay so informatica is not a, not a open source tool informatica is a commercial tool but they have given some freeware to us that's it okay informatica is a commercial tool when you go to office they should purchase they should you know to purchase they should purchase informatica tool okay so this is about business intelligence sheet this is about business intelligence sheet okay yeah so de- business intelligence is divided into three parts data warehousing data mining and data visualization and data warehousing is somewhere divided into etl tools and reporting tools etl tools and reporting tools okay so one second please second. yeah so etl testers means they will do the testing whatever you do the development whatever you have whatever you have loaded the data into tables they will do the testing that's it in, in etl testers okay what is the short form is that etl testers on extract etl testers we are etl developers they are etl testers what roles unix plays i will tell what roles unix plays in informatica i will tell okay bi and power bi not same not same power bi is a tool from microsoft but bi is a business intelligence is a concept it is not a tool but power bi is a reporting tool 
okay i want to know the olap data in many forms like excel format oracle or a transform with zero normally olap will be in the table format only olap will be 90% table formats only not like any other formats it will be olap will be olap data will be table formats only always okay where we will keep olap they will be having another database server they are also see they will only maintain everything that means always we will we will we will give suppose oltp oracle database is there in the same database olap tables will be also there the data will be different that's it okay they, those are the, suppose there are 10 tables in oltp olap five tables will be there okay in the same database maybe have different database it will be same database server or de different database server we will use the things that's it okay in real time it will be there in the database server only olap also in the database only. okay that is about this reporting tool means <coughs> they will generate the reports they will generate the business reports profit report monthly report daily report like that you will get a you will get a bank statement right every month you will get a bank statement that is a report that is your monthly report that is your monthly report report that is that is a perfect example of a report what is the use of report is that is the use of report what um, my monthly statement you will get it that is also a report will be generated by reporting people okay internet is not required to connect the database internet is not required okay so yes we want to know only data warehousing okay we need to go as a database data informatica developer or etl developer okay yeah data visualization data mining not required we don't use that whichever is useful we will we will we'll clear okay we will not use data data mining okay we will not use okay reporting tool means to generate the reports in the etl tool we are just transforming the data from suppose there are suppose there are 10 records in here suppose what what are the in the source tables i have 10 records here i have suppose 100 records are in this table 100 records in this table okay 100 records 100 rows in this table what we will do all these 300 records will come here okay all these 300 records will come maybe here it will go 200 records it will go to 150 records based on the requirement that's it after these tables they will generate the reports like our bank statements they will generate the reports okay that is about that okay Yeah, we can load it anything from where anywhere to anywhere we can load we can load okay without etl developer there is no reporting numbers no without etl developer there is no uh etl etl report without development there is no reporting okay informatica supporting so informatica supports taking source table from one server we can load it yes from any server to any server it will any database to any database any file to any table any file to any table Server means it will be there in one system. We'll access that server from anywhere. That's it. It's, it's in remote location. It will be a remote location. Okay. It's a data warehousing. Data. It's a data warehousing. ETL comes under data warehousing. No, we no need to learn MDM. We need to learn only power center. We need to learn only power center. Okay. Not required to learn MIS, MySQL. MySQL. I will show you. Okay not no you you have to apply only informatica developers you cannot work you, know, you cannot apply as a data stage developer okay no excel is not an etl tool okay excel is not an etl tool yes multiple data sources we can connect we can connect multiple data sources by using informatica okay any data source oracle data oracle data oracle table or a sql server table or a file or anything you can you can connect with informatica you can connect with Informatica, Oracle SQL, how much we need, we'll see later. Now, what you need to do today? Number one, what you need to do today? There are three steps you need to do. Okay, there are three steps you need to do. What are those? We'll see now. Almost all people already registered from the website. My website, you people already registered. Okay, how you registered? So you went to rajinformatica.com. You went to rajinformatica.com. Okay, this is my website. I'm pinging you here the website. This is my website. First thing you need to do, sign up. Maybe you already signed up. Sign up 
and sign up with your Gmail ID which you given. First, what you need to do? Login with your Gmail. First, number one, open Chrome. I am writing the steps. Follow the steps. Same thing. Okay. Follow the steps. Same thing. Number one. What you need to do? Number one, open Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome. Number two, sign in with opengmail.com and sign in, login with your Gmail ID. Login with your Gmail ID. With your Gmail ID. Next, number three, open rajinformatica.com. Open rajinformatica.com. What you need to do? Open rajinformatica.com. This is the website name. Open rajinformatica.com. One second, please. Yeah. Open rajinformatica.com. After that, click on sign up. If you if you did not do these steps, you do it. If you do it, then leave it. Okay. Then sign up with your Gmail ID, which you've given to me. With your Gmail ID given to me, you have to use that Gmail ID only. If you give any other one, you will not get the access. Okay. You will not get the access. So, so log in with the Gmail ID, which you've given to me only. Use only one Gmail ID which you given. Please click on sign up with the with the Gmail ID you given to me. You given to me. This is next. Next after that, it will be sign. Once you sign up and are login, okay, it will log into your Gmail. You will log into your Gmail. Okay, you will log into your rajinformatica.com. Okay, just a second. So I logged into a new user. Okay, I logged in. Now what you will do? Okay, logged in. Okay. In this website, the students is your, your, okay, whatever you are seeing students, that is your, your student dashboard or enrolled courses, join live session, all these things will be there here. Dashboard, my profile, all things will be here. Okay. Now, next, download Zoom software, Zoom software into laptop, into laptop, download Zoom software into laptop and register an account in zoom register click on sign up on zoom click on sign up on zoom okay and register your gmail id in zoom with the same gmail id whatever the gmail id you given click on sign up on zoom and register and register an account in zoom register an account with your gmail id in zoom okay in Zoom, register and sign into Zoom and log into Zoom. Log into Zoom with the same Gmail ID you given to me. With the Gmail ID should be same for all the steps. If you don't use the Gmail ID, correct Gmail ID will not get the access. Okay. So first open Google Chrome, log in with your Gmail ID, which you given to me, which you are which you given to me, please. Which you given to me. Okay. Then open rajinformatica.com, click on sign up and Gmail ID you given to me. Download Zoom software into our search for Zoom. You can search for Zoom or in, in Google you can search Zoom software download. In Google, you can search Zoom software download. Zoom software download. Okay. Zoom software download. You can download the Zoom and register an account in the Zoom and login with the login Zoom with the same email ID. This is what. This is what, okay. This is what you need to do. Okay. Thanks for that. This is what you need to do. Okay. Next. After that, we will give the, today you will get the access for sure. Whatever I told, because we have may, more people, it is taking so much of time. So today you will get all the access. Okay. Today you will get all the access. Now, from Tuesday, the next class is on Wednesday. From Wednesday, from Wednesday, I will not send a separate Zoom link in the group. I will not send a separate Zoom link in the group. You should log in from website only. You should log in from website only. Website only. You should log in from how to log in from Wednesday. So once you once you do, once you completed all the steps, now again, okay, what is this? These are the first steps. These are the 
things you need to do first you need to do these things okay next set what you need to do the next set okay to access what is that to access to access your course content or daily daily material to access daily material okay video 1 to 9 as i told 1 to 9 videos or 8 videos i'll get videos 1 to 9 okay to access to see to watch to watch 1 to 9 videos okay to access your daily material to watch 1 to 8 videos and also to join live session to join live session on daily basis on daily basis you need to do the follow steps you need to you need to what open rajinformatica.com open rajinformatica.com and go to student section open rajinformatica.com and go to student section go to student section what you need to do suppose you want to access the material first you want to access the material on daily basis what to do okay go to students enrolled courses once i give the access if you if you are morning you will get the morning access if you are evening you will get the evening access like this 13th batch morning 13th batch evening you will get it open this open this okay once you open this okay once you open this you can see here okay you can see here day 1 day 2 day 3 you are seeing right this is course instructions informatic installation then day 1 day 2 day 3 you are seeing na okay you can click on this click on this click on lesson 1 once you click on lesson 1 okay then a video will appear appear and also material scroll down click here to download once you click here to download a google drive link will open you can take it from here okay how to watch the videos or how to take the how to take how, how to see your material go to students enrolled courses whatever the access you have which course access you have if you don't have access please wait for some time you will get the access for today for sure okay so go to students enrolled courses then select your course morning batch or evening batch then scroll down here introduction to informatica day 1 lesson 1 in lesson 1 you can you can download the material also click on this left side lesson 2 lesson 2 you can watch the lesson 2 okay enrollment id is also you will get it please wait okay that is how that is how you need to do it that is how you need to do it okay in 13th batch it will not show i will resolve that don't worry now how to join live sessions how to join live session from from wednesday from wednesday how to join okay next session is on wednesday okay two first two weeks will be alternative sessions because because okay so uh, no it is lifetime access whatever i am giving the access it is a lifetime access okay one second please yeah so now what you need to do okay so go to rajinsmartika.com to join the live sessions what to do go to rajinsmartika.com to join the live sessions okay tomorrow we don't have tomorrow we don't have class okay we have we have the class on wednesday have the class on wednesday so go to student section join live session join live session and select your morning or morning evening or evening batch like this you select okay and here uh, and here you will get i will get meeting id and password here it is showing this one but here you will get meeting id and password take that meeting id and password and put it in your zoom okay so open rajinfo.com go to student section and go to join live session then go to join live session go to join live session there you will be having zoom meeting id password zoom meeting id and password it will appear password it will appear then open zoom software in the laptop okay and then give this meeting id and password and then join and then join on the live session okay so whoever enrolled for the courses whoever yeah i will give the sample data to practice okay whoever enrolled for the courses 
with the Gmail ID. Only that Gmail ID will be having access. No other Gmail ID. You cannot log into Zoom. Maybe today you joined. Whoever not registered also, that is fine. But on Wednesday onwards, the people, the people, no, you cannot go through mobile. Okay, I will. I'll send the pro, pro steps to WhatsApp groups. Practice WhatsApp groups. So I'll give all those things. I'll give. It'll take some time. Please wait. So help others who did not install Informatica. Okay, so help others, please. Okay, so this is what you need to do. I will send these steps to. I'll send these steps. Okay, I will send these. Download quota exceeded. You please ping me. I will give other other link. You can download from there. Okay, you ping me separately in the WhatsApp. So now, okay, these are the steps you need to follow by Wednesday. I will not send any Zoom link on Wednesday. Daily, you can go through there and you can take it. That's it. Okay, and <clears throat> see whoever are getting errors in Informatica homepage while you are installing Informatica. You are getting an error, right? So how to resolve that error? We'll see. How to resolve that error? See, please. If you are getting an error in Informatica, first go to settings. Search for settings. Open the settings. <clears throat> okay. Or oh, sorry. Start for services. Services. Open services. First. Come to Oracle services, scroll down. Come to Oracle services. Tomorrow, no class, please. Tomorrow, first to two weeks, alternative classes. First to two weeks, alternative classes. Why? Because we need to help the people or people need to understand better. So go through, the, go through my first video. Everything I explained there. Everything I explained there, what and all what. Okay? So I will approve. I will approve. Don't worry. Please don't be hurry for approve. We have... We have six, almost 550 people are there on morning and evening. It will take some time to approve, please. If it is, if it is till last batch, it was, it was fast only. But this batch having more people, it will take more time. But you will get it for sure today only. For sure you will get it. Almost all we completed. Today few things are there. We will finish it. You no need to worry, please. After logging, pending or approval, it will show. Correct. It will show. I will approve. Don't worry. Our system will approve. System will automatically approve. Please wait. Okay. Please wait for it. Okay. Now, open. If you are getting any error in Informatica, the basic thing you need to do is open services, scroll down for Oracle services. There are five Oracle services total. One is Scheduler XE, MTR Recovery Service, Service XE, XLE CLR Agent, XLE Agent. First one is disabled, leave it, not required. Oracle's job scheduler XC is not required. Try, if it is, try one by one refresh. If it is anything is not running, if it is not anything running, start. If anything run, not running, start them. These four should be in running status. MTR recovery service, XLR, so XC, CLR agent, listener, these four should be running status. Suppose one is not running, you started it. Right click on it, started it. Wait for two minutes. Wait for, waiting is important, please. Wait for two minutes. After waiting, go to Informatica services, scroll up, go to Informatica 10.2.0, refresh. And if it is not running, start it. Only Informatica 10.2.0, start. And wait for two minutes. Wait for two minutes and try again. It will work. If it is still not working, we will, we will help you. Don't worry. Okay. That is the process you need to follow for today. From Wednesday, our from Wednesday, see network should be fast. You should have a good internet connection. Okay, to download the software. Somehow you need to manage with a good wherever Wi-Fi is there, go there and download. That is better. Okay. That is better. Okay. Server, the installation cannot be reached. This is a problem. Okay. This is a problem. So start Oracle services first. Wait for two minutes. Then start Informatica services. Then again wait for two minutes and then try. It will work. It will work. If it is not working, share the screenshot in the group. Okay. Don't chat unnecessary things in chat, please, in the group. That is group. That group is for learning purpose. That group is for learning purpose. So make use of it. You have more people, make friends and make use of it. This is about today's session. Okay. I hope everybody, I hope today for day to day practice, not required. Day to day practice, if you don't have, if you, if you want to join, a group is created, whoever not added in the morning group or evening group, 
I have created two groups. No Telegram group. Leave over to Telegram, please. I don't require Telegram. It is not working properly. Now we are not going through Telegram group. We are going to morning and evening batch. Okay, morning WhatsApp group. Morning WhatsApp group. Okay, evening WhatsApp group. Evening, yes. From next time onwards, shop 9.20 only I will start. But 9.30, 9.20 I will start the Zoom. 9.30 I will start the lesson. Okay. 9.30, I'll start the lesson. Morning WhatsApp group is there. Evening WhatsApp group is there. Morning people will be there in the morning WhatsApp group. Evening people will be there in the evening WhatsApp group. Suppose if you are evening WhatsApp group, if it is if you did not add it, okay, then you please ping me separately. I will add you. Okay. Morning WhatsApp group, morning evening WhatsApp group. And also, whoever are not paid today, whoever are promised to pay today, okay, I will share. Please wait. Whoever uh, remaining fee, whoever promised to pay, okay, please pay today itself to get the access. Okay, to pay. Okay, so no discussions in the group for the payment, please. No discussions, please. Okay, we know what. Okay, so whoever not paid, please pay today to get the access. Whoever promised like by 19, 19 or 20, okay, by 19th or 20, 21st, you promised us to pay, right? For them, please pay remaining and you will get the access for sure. So morning WhatsApp group, evening WhatsApp group is created. It is created. If you are not added, if you are in morning batch, if you are not added morning batch, please pick me. Evening batch people will be evening batch group only. Morning batch people will be in morning batch group only. Okay. If you don't get added, please ping me. I will get added to morning batch and evening batch, whichever is okay. Okay. At, I am not using Telegram group. I am not using Telegram group. Come out of it. Not required. If you are stay, if you want to stay, stay. But I am not using Telegram. Is not working as expected. It's waste of time. Okay, we tried it. It's waste of time. You can watch the one to eight videos from today. You can watch. Okay, so so whoever to get the access, if you are not paid, please pay as soon as possible. Okay, so who are promised by today? Okay, so I hope you people, everyone understood about my training, guys. How is my training? Is it is it able to understand to you? Are you able to understand, guys? Yes. Okay. I will in the next session. Yeah. Yes. These are the client tools will be working. Yes. Power center designer, workflow manager, workflow monitor, repository manager will be will be used on the daily basis. Okay. Okay. From Wednesday onwards, at least by Wednesday, you install your Informatica. Install Informatica. Okay. No, only only okay, only weekdays. Informatica. Software company, if you are working on Informatica, it will be only five days a week and eight hours. Maybe they may extend, I don't know. You need to extend maybe, but weekly five days, weekend is sorry. Okay, sure, I'll go slow. Weekend is holiday, Saturday, Sunday, holiday. Okay, you don't need to create it. Okay, I will, I will, I will be able to allow, I will, I will. Okay, so for how to practice them? First two, no need to practice. We will get access today. We will get access today. Okay, tomorrow there is no session. Next session is on Wednesday. First two weeks, okay. Resume and experience, experience discussion, resume discussion, there will be classes, okay. To practice, not required any speed internet connection, okay. ETL development is different, ETL testing is different, okay. Interview questions I will provide, okay. In case, can we join evening class also? You please ping me later. Try to join only one class and ask the doubts here only. There is a connection between Informatica and Unix, I will tell, okay. Daily daily data we need to do. Okay, unable to connect to the RPSVC. Follow my steps. Start the services and follow. Okay, that is fine. Whatever you are 918, you will get the you will get the website access today. In the website, you can watch one to eight videos. Go to course, go to enrolled courses, students enrolled courses. Okay, here you can watch one to eight classes. Okay, go to enrolled courses. Okay, you are 13th batch morning. Okay, and here. Click on one by one day two. Here you will watch the video. You cannot download the video, but you can watch the video one to eight. You can watch. Today you will get it. Okay. You whatever the diff. Okay. Yeah. Pros also called tuples. Yes. Okay. I will tell all those things. I will tell. Now from Wednesday, pure practical sessions. There is no theory sessions at all. From Wednesday. Okay. From Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Ascension people will go through it. Yes. Developers will go through it. Yeah. There are many openings in Informatica, no need to worry. 
there are many many okay so i will make the practice groups maybe today i will create the practice groups also okay yeah no recession nothing please don't worry no recession nothing no recession please okay fine guys you text me if you have any other doubts if you have any other doubts okay please please text me yeah we'll see you on okay we'll see you we'll see you on when power bi and yes it is an added advantage to you when you learn informatics guys you know okay we we will get us and from wednesday we will get the assignments whatever i do in the class you should do it okay from wednesday we will get it i will tell how to job search everything i will tell i'll give the resume i'll tell how to job search everything i will tell you no need to worry okay yes tab bi also plus yes okay yes see if the offices are open then it will be good for you at least people will help you at least people will help you today nothing is there to practice today nothing is there to practice it will take some time just wait two three days don't be hurry okay we'll go slow first once you understand everything then we'll go fast instead of going fast and coming back okay for practicing not required any internet not required not required okay so if you if the offices are open it will be good it will be good okay so because you will get help from your team members if you are at home nothing will happen okay nothing will come okay yes in upcoming days also we'll get jobs we will get jobs okay fine i will tell everything later okay so whatever it is you please text me whatever it is whatever the question you please text me okay i will send the two days ppt some notes don't worry okay meeting id passcode you will get it from here you will get it on from for wednesday meeting id password you go to students join live session and 13th batch morning here you will get user id password there you will get it from there you need to take okay yes you will get the access don't worry if it is not purchased course also i will give the access manually don't worry please okay so now i am ending the session so if you have any questions if you have any questions please okay so okay one second please one second please give me a second guys i told about the recordings in previous session go go to that if you are having installation problem let me know okay we'll help you don't worry we have till wednesday so till wednesday you need to install informatica on oracle okay so that's the thing okay you will get it you will get it you will get it please wait everybody will get everything okay please wait no need to practice anything today okay no need to practice anything today see you on wednesday guys okay thank you all thanks for joining my training thank you all bye bye see you guys bye okay bye guys yeah